Welcome back everybody, it's Burner. I was uh, putting together the raid review video I've been talking about doing with some uh, raiding tips uh, for raid preparations when this uh, uh, announcement came up at midnight. So I thought I'd do a quick video and give my advice and suggestions for free to play players and this specific raid event. As you can see, new Great Gear Raid Tournament is going on right now. You can get uh, Ultra Rare, Elite Rare. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at the rewards. Let's start by looking at first place here. We got two bags. You either get an Army Walkie or a School Bag. Uh, pretty standard. Two bags. You're going to get a Wool Beanie and a Flak. That's pretty handy. And four crates of Ultra Rare gear. Uh, now the thing is, if you're a free-to-play player and you are prepping for that first five-star or maybe your second five star these aren't gonna do a lot of good for you and depending on your region you're still gonna have to use a lot of resources to place up in this top 10 where you'll see is pretty much how far uh, all these ultra rare uh, bags and crates are gonna run more than likely a good place for you is gonna be in that 100 to 11 range if you're still new enough in the game where you don't have a lot of maxed out four stars you might need them the gear in this range you probably will have to burn some refills or some coins to get there but if it's going to help your team out a lot you know go ahead and do it uh, you just don't want to blow them all uh, at those high levels I'm taking a look inside here at 111 you get either a flak or a beanie uh, a mixture of ultra rare or elite rare you'll mostly get the bottom items as we all know lastly uh, we have a mixture of rare to elite rare gear uh, which might be helpful early on but again you know if you're still working towards that first five you're gonna get enough of the roadmap flash events for uh, rare and ultra or elite rare and ultra rare gear that you, know, you don't really need to blow all your raid preparation just to get one of these items uh, save your cans save your coins for that that run at an individual uh, five-star character you're gonna get a lot more out of it uh, it's gonna be more rewarding and uh, you know you're not gonna feel like you're constantly working towards nothing let's take a quick peek at milestones you'll see they're pretty standard um, looks like we got some personas in this one those are always nice you're probably not gonna be up in this 11 to 2100 range if you don't use any refills though uh, the 600 with the raid refill reward should be possible uh, with the uh, length of the tournament to do without any raid refills. So as a goal, you at least want to get to that. So you're adding to your preparation through the raid event. That's uh, completely reasonable, and you should be able to attain that uh, pretty easy. Uh, obviously, you can't miss a whole lot of time, but you can do it. The last thing I want to talk about is uh, promotions during raid events. Now we'll go in here and look at the feature, the premium raid bag. You can see you can get a total of five for 245 coins. Let's take a peek inside. Uh, you can either get two or four refills. And as far as preparation for these raid events, that's all I'm worried about. You know, I see the Burt's there. I see the food. I'm not worried about those. I'm not including those in my value because I'm going to get tons of Burt's and tons of food. Uh, on my own. It's not going to help me get a five star from a raid event. That's all I'm worried about when I'm thinking about using my coin. So here, uh, two or four cans. I think we all know you're more than likely going to get the two. So I'm assuming I'm spending 245 coins just to get two raid cans. Again, I'm not worried about the birds and the food. Those aren't helping me in my raid preparation. So I don't recommend ever buying this bag. Uh, usually during raid events they'll throw out another bag that I do recommend uh, it usually does like a two four a six and a, a ten refills and it's 190 so again I take the assumption that uh, I'll only get two and even if I only get two I'm saving uh, you know five per can I'm saving a total of ten because if you you buy an instant refill you're using a hundred coins so if that other bag pops up I recommend buying all five of those uh, that's a good value snatch those up every single one that you can afford and stack them away into your preparations until you're ready to make a run at a five-star character in short if you're free to play this just isn't the tournament for you I don't can't think of any situation where I'd ever recommend blowing your resources to get 
uh, in the top 10 on this event. I hope that you found this helpful. Uh, if you think I missed out on anything, please comment below. We'll uh, spark up a discussion about it. Otherwise, you know, keep working hard, save up those resources, prep for a raid where you can get a five-star character, and I'm telling you, you're going to be more fulfilled when that happens. Uh, good luck, everybody. Until next time, I'm Burner. Flame out.